Okay, the man on the lawnmower. He's going, possibly going to cut all these beautiful native bluebells down. So I thought I'd film them before they were decimated. But I haven't got time to pick them. I might have time to pick them yet. But they're edible bush tucker and were eaten, were and are eaten by Australia's first people for tens of thousands of years. Pretty little edible bluebells. They can be used in salads or sandwiches or in desserts. Learn to recognize them anyway. They're pretty little things. And they don't all have the same petal formation. There seems to be different types, but they're all still bluebells. Let's have a closer look. Looking at them, it's easier to see in the shade. That's what these ones look like. Learn to recognize them. Read about them in, um, was it Wild Fruit in Australia? Who's the author of that? Is it, is it Grub? G-R-U-B-B? -B? I'm not sure. There's a pretty little native bluebell. Edible in your salads and greens and sandwiches and things. Desserts. Lots of them. Beautiful. I might do a couple of microscope shots when I go back to the house. That's what they look like generally. You've got to have a general idea of them before the particular idea of them. Listen to that dreadful lawnmower man. to cut all our beautiful bluebells down. Let's look at the other sort. These ones look a bit different, but they're still bluebells. Their petals look rounded, these ones. But they're still, they're still bluebells. A bit like the difference between jonquils and daffodils, I suppose. Come here. I'll photograph them in the shade. Hang on. That's my gumboots rubbing. <laughs> Whoops. Can we see them? I'll make a shadow. Hang on. We are in the shade. Here we are in the shade. Their petals are a bit different, aren't they? Two, four, five points, but they're a bit rounded. Anyway, here goes. Chomp, chomp. They don't have a lot of flavour, but they're the little bluebells and they are food, wild food in Australia, eaten by Australia's first people or tens of thousands of years, as I said. And I've made other uh, films about them, but I enjoy filming them because they're so pretty. Well, I don't know if any particular individual bluebell is identical to the next. That one looks sort of darker blue and narrower, but it is in the shade. Some of them are pointed and some aren't. They're not all sort of identical, but they generally look the same, but in particularly, Individual ones are a bit different. They all taste the same. They all taste the same in the end. That's what they look like. Learn to recognize them. They grow around Australia. They might be subspecies or something. I'm no botanist. I'm no wild food expert either. So always seek the uh, advice of a, a botanist and a wild food expert. I'm just an interested person. Look at them, aren't they pretty? So pretty. So pretty. So lovely. So edible. Oops, here comes the lawnmower. Can we see them a little closer here? Can we see them a little closer? Individual flowers, anyway. They're so pretty, aren't they? So blue. Lovely. And there's one floating in the water, like a little lotus. Listen to the blackbird outside. That's what they look like, anyway.
How close can we get with this camera? Focus, come on. Good bush tucker anyway. Learn to recognise them forever. Edible bush tucker of Australia's first people. Beautiful, blue, easy to remember. Gorgeous. Let's eat one. I'll eat that one. The petals are always very soft on the tongue, but not any great flavour, specific flavour, but and not unpleasant. They're quite refreshing to eat in a sandwich. They don't have any specific flavour, but they're lovely to look at. Listen to the blackbird. English blackbird. And native bluebells. And a lawnmower in the distance. Push Tucker. 